I've got something really exciting to share with you guys today. It's the Realme GT Neo 3 Special Naruto Edition. So it comes in this special Naruto scroll. Everything's inside the box. And we're going to take this out. We're going to unbox it. We're going to show it off because this right here is something that is incredibly awesome. And I did not know they were sending this to me. I thought I was just getting another phone. And this showed up and I'm like, why did they send me a Naruto scroll? I hadn't heard anything about the special edition. The phone looks like Naruto and there's lots of cool accessories in here, including the 150 watt charger. So let's go ahead and, I mean, we can't even take this out of the box. Let's take this out of the scroll and have a look at it. Uh, it basically, it, it just came out. Let's take a look. All right, here's the special Naruto Realme GT Neo 3. Now, this right here, the way it works is you pop the end of the scroll off and inside of here, there's a special compartment that has the phone and all the other stuff. There, there's nothing else inside here. It is, it's empty at this point, but it is a really, really cool decoration. Now, I was blown away by this. I actually used to watch Naruto a long time ago, a long, long time ago, just for framing about 2003, 2004. I watched it when it first started coming out. We used to actually have to download the episodes off of a torrent. Which some of you kids are, who are adults now may know what that is. And I have to wait for it to basically that episode to come out every week and then be subbed so I could understand it. But yeah, I've been a big fan for a long time. Now my kids, of course, watch it. So they're really excited about this. Even get a special little Naruto sim ejector. Not a whole lot of paperwork in here. So you're good to go there. And here's the phone. Now you've got the Naruto colors here. And let's go ahead and take the plastic wrap off. I am just ecstatic about this phone. Like I, I can't, I can't even, guys, in the words of this generation. So you got the Naruto orange, and then you got the accents. You've got the little icon here. You've got the Leaf Village logo there, which I believe that's what that is. And this right here is to represent the headband. So this is like symbolic of the headband that Naruto wears. The Leaf, yeah, that's the Leaf Village symbol because they have that on their headband. And this right here is fantastic. And you got the big 50 megapixel camera, LED flash, and then you've also got the 8 megapixel ultra wide, the 2 megapixel macro, and it's got a 16 megapixel selfie camera on the front. It's already got a screen protector installed, so that's cool. And there's supposed to be some special Naruto like backgrounds and graphic stuff in here. So let's go ahead and fire it up. I'll have to get this set up, but let's start it up. There we go, volume rocker, well, not rocker, volume buttons over here, left and right, sim, sim tray down here, USB-C, downward firing speaker, everything you can ask for in a solid phone. Of course, it does have Gorilla Glass 5, Android 12 running Realme UI 3, got the Dimensity 8100 5 nanometer processor. So this should be some serious power under the hood. And it's got all the other bells and whistles as well. It's got 150 watt charging, which the charger comes in the in the container here, which is super cool. Comes with a case, so we're loaded out for bear, or loaded out for you know Naruto, <laughs> for ramen because you know he loves ramen. 150 watt charger, sorry, 160 watt charger. This is what this looks like. I thought it said 150, but apparently it's 160 watt, um, unless that's a misprint. Super dart charging. That is just insane. And then it's a USB type A to, sorry, USB type C to USB type C for the charging cable there. I like that that's the Naruto orange as well. They even have a Naruto uh, themed power bank, which mine didn't come with a power bank, but it is something that apparently you'll be able to pick up. I don't know the price on it. And yes, I, I'm really digging this. And one thing I want to show off that I, I kind of started to do with my unboxings, let's take the SIM tray out and see what it looks like. So what we have here is a dual SIM tray. Um, oop, there we go, dual SIM tray, no SD card. So there's no external SD card that you can put in here. It does have kind of a wide variation uh, when it comes to specs because there is different RAM sizes, different storage sizes. So they've got as low as a six gig RAM model and as high as a 12 gig RAM model. And then the baseline storage 128 maximum, 256 UFS 3.1 storage. This is just cool. I am. I cannot wait to put my SIM card in this and use it. I'm sure I'm going to get so many people that ask questions about it. So that will be neat. If I can get the case on here. 6.7 inch screen, 1080p plus. So that's a 394 pixel per inch density. And then the case here you can see offers some protection. It's, it's raised up higher than the camera. So that'll get you some protection there. 
and then it's raised higher than the screen here. So if you place it down level on a flat surface, it shouldn't scratch anything up. I do like how this is kind of a little bit darker. It's not a completely normal clear see-through, so it kind of takes some of the harshness off of this reflective orange and takes it down a notch. So I, I like this a lot. This is pretty darn sweet. So let me go ahead and get this set up and then we'll come back and take a look at some of the other stuff in the phone. So I've just been absolutely excited about this phone ever since I took it out of the box, ever since it showed up. I mean, the packaging it came in, really cool. Took a couple of pictures with it. You can see some of those samples here. At moments, it can take some pretty decent pictures. So I think that that's cool there, especially uh, with the primary camera. And then you can do the macro photos for those up close and personal National Geographic shots. 5,000 milliamp battery. We're talking about being able to recharge from zero to 100% in about five minutes, which is just utterly insane. I, I do wonder about the long-term battery health implications of something that charges like that because we haven't tested something like this for three, four, five years to know what the impact will be. But man, that's just crazy to be able to do that with the phone. And even if you do fast charging at 80 watts, 80 watts, like just 80 watts, right? It's still supposed to do zero to 132 minutes. So yeah, I love the design and that's the, the biggest thing with this phone it just looks so cool. It's decked out to the nines with all the Naruto stuff, with the, the logos, the icons, and then when you look at the phone itself, you get the backgrounds, you get the icons that are on here as well that you have. So it's completely, I, I think it's a well thought out device. I think this is something that's gonna make people happy, especially Naruto fans, and of course this is not the most expensive phone in the world. I, I'm not exactly sure what MSRP is, but the GT Neo 3, is not a crazy expensive phone. And you've got the Dimensity chip in here. It's plenty fast. I mean, the Dimensity 8100, you're going to be able to play pretty much whatever you want on here. So you can play games. You can take pictures. It's got a beautiful screen on it. 120 hertz refresh rate, full 1080p plus. And there's, of course, the different models for the RAM and for the storage sizes and stuff. So you got a couple different options. When it comes to this model particularly, though, I think that it's limited. But look at this. Is this not the coolest looking phone that you've seen in a long time? I don't really get excited about a lot of phones anymore, and I, I don't mean that in a bad way. I do get excited about the phones. I like to test them. I like to review them. I like to do all the stuff. But it's not every day that you get something like this and to take out of the box, and you're like, wow, this is so cool. And again, taking me back to personally whenever I used to watch this show, I used to watch it, I mean, I didn't even have kids back then. This is like 2003, 2004, me and my buddy, we were downloading the episodes. They would come out in Japan, a week later somebody would have them subtitled, we'd grab it off of the torrent, download it online, and then we would watch it. So, I mean, I watched probably the first 180 episodes of the show completely subtitled. I remember I actually went to Japan in 2004 personally to go there for a week, and I had a blast, me and my buddy. And I thought it was the coolest thing to be able to watch an episode of Naruto there in Japan, in Tokyo, on the TV, whenever it was live broadcast. So this is really special for me. My kids absolutely love it. My kids have watched so many more episodes than I have, and of course the Naruto Shippuden now. Lots of different stuff. Uh, anime has apparently become a, a big mainstream thing. Like back when I used to watch it 20 years ago, watching Neon Genesis Evangelion, watching Dragon Ball Z when I was a teenager on Toonami The Rising Sun on Cartoon Network, watching all these old shows, and then now it's something that's so popular and so blown up, and my kids are watching all these shows. I mean, Gundam Wing, I mean, that was probably one of my most favorite shows too. So this is neat. It's just a, a, taking it to a different level, some super, super fan service here for people who love who love the Realme brand, who love Naruto, and yeah, this is, this is crazy. So uh, unfortunately, it is a Chinese region phone. There were some hiccups that I had to get over, like basically everything in here is in Chinese. So if you're Chinese, that's great. Uh, this is a great phone for you. If you if you speak English as a native language, it doesn't have the Android Play Store on here. It doesn't have a lot of that stuff. But since it is running Android, you can get it on there. So I downloaded and sideloaded. I got the APK file for the Play Store, downloaded it, set it up, and then I've got my apps on here. So I've downloaded and set up Boom Beach. I've been playing that. I, I downloaded Instagram. I downloaded Twitter, all that stuff. All my normal apps are running just fine on here. I downloaded Gboard. There is a native app store on here, which I can't read anything in here. 
because uh, it's called the app market and everything in here is in Chinese. So yeah, again, this is not uh, anything against the Chinese language or this brand. It's just that me being in the United States from Texas, uh, English is tough for me sometimes, right, y'all? <laughs> so uh, I was able to, of course, because it is running Android, you can download the Play Store. Of course, security patches, security stuff is going to be probably a forefront question if you're concerned about this stuff because I, I just don't know a whole lot about the the hardware, the legacy is security stuff when it comes to these guys and their phones. But I've used several Realme phones and I haven't had any problems with them. I do enjoy them. I like what they bring as a brand, as a phone, because these guys honestly remind me a lot of OnePlus. They remind me of the excitement back when OnePlus, like the 6T, the 7 Pro, back in those days, they're trying to be different. They're bringing something cool to the market. And if they make more phones like this, like if they had... I think there might even be a Dragon Ball Z one they've made before, which I need to look into. But there's there's some cool stuff here. And I, I think that if you want to pick something up like this, you will need to have the understanding if you're outside the U outside of China, if you're in the U.S., if you're somewhere in a different language-speaking region, then you can make it work for you. You can download the stuff and set it up. But it's something that you're going to have to put some legwork in. You're going to have to use a little bit of mental agility and some elbow grease to get it set up for you but again it can be done i'm downloading apex right now i'm going to play apex on here i downloaded uh, a lot of my other favorite stuff on here as well uh, youtube reddit twitter facebook um oh league of legends wild rift and you can play pretty much whatever you want the dimensity chips at the 8100 that's in here is pretty darn powerful so it's a great combination a great blend i think they've got it optimized pretty well and again, I've really enjoyed this phone. It's been something that's really exciting. And again, out of the box, you get the charger. There is some, probably a little bit of question mark there because it says 150 watt charger in all the advertisement material I got, but the power brick says 160 watt. So I don't know if that's some sort of a typo, but either way, recharges quick, fast, and in a hurry. That's the moral of the story. So yeah, that's all I got. Again, it also comes with a screen protector. It comes with the case, and the case actually looks pretty darn nice on here too because it does have like that tint to it, so it helps kind of take some of the sharpness and the brightness away from the reflective orange that's on here. But yeah, I, I'm... I, oh, here's the other thing. I'm using it right now. It'll work with T-Mobile, no, no problem. T-Mobile, Mint Mobile, Metro by T-Mobile, it works. Those are GSM unlocked here in the States. You can use it. Uh, 5G questionable. Uh, I'm not getting 5G personally, but if you use AT&T, it shows that I'm getting a phone signal, but then you like try to use the internet, it doesn't work. It's just the thing when it comes with AT&T, they don't let phones work on their network that they don't officially support. So again, you're, basically your options are going to be limited to T-Mobile, Metro by T-Mobile, and Mint Mobile, which of course are very good options. I like all three of them. I've supported them for many, many, many years. So that's about all I've got here wrapping up on this phone. It's been so much fun with this phone, and it's been really refreshing. I've needed something like this. I, again, I test out so many phones, and to get this one, it showed up, and as soon as I took this out of the box, I was sitting there, and just the light that w that showed up in my kids' eyes as they recognized what this was, and it's like, wow, this is a Naruto-branded phone for you know Realme with the GT Neo 3. Super, super cool, and uh, this is just a wonderful opportunity that I got because, again, if you guys aren't familiar, I paid my own way. I went out to Mobile World Congress out in Barcelona, Spain back in February, March, and got an opportunity to meet with these guys. Also, a good friend of mine, Chris, Tech Tablets, and I'll have his channel linked down in the bottom. Fantastic guy, one of my best friends, and he helped connect me with the Realme guys, talked with them. And they were like, yeah, sure, we'd love to work with you. So fortunately, because of him and going out there and getting a chance to meet these guys face-to-face, -face, it presented this opportunity uh, to test this stuff out and also the other Realme phones that have been sent here recently. So great stuff, great stuff happening here on the channel because it adds just another extra level that I don't think you get to see on a lot of channels because I cover Google with the Pixel phones, I cover Samsung, the foldables, the flagships, the S22 Ultra, all the S22s, the iPhone I love to cover all the phones because that's what I love. That's what I've always loved doing. That's why I created my channel. So here it is. And hopefully you've enjoyed this. And if you like this stuff, stay tuned. Lock in, hit the like button, the subscribe button, the notification bell, all that jazz. So you can get updates when I put out new videos, which is every single day. Sometimes two a day. I put out two videos today. Uh, and I, I try to, get, there's just so much stuff to cover. Yeah, I would 
for, believe me personally, sometimes it would be nice to just make a couple videos a week. But yeah, I love this stuff, and you guys love this stuff. And for me to be able to cover anything from all these different phones, uh, yeah, I make a lot of videos. So show up for the ones you like. If you don't like them, you know, pass on for the next one, and then I'm sure there'll be something here that you like. I hope so anyway, because it seems like a lot of people like to come back. I love to have you here, and that's one of the great things about this channel is just the connection that, uh, that I think I get to share with you guys with our love for these phones and technology. So that's all I've got. Again, if you have any questions or comments, please go down in the comment section. I'll get back with you. If you enjoyed the video, please hit the like and the subscribe button, little notification bell. And as always, thanks for being here. I appreciate you watching, and I'll see you guys next time.